How to create a campaign. In this session, we will walk you through the steps on how to set up your campaign for success. We will cover how to navigate to the campaign management screen, how to set up the right targeting to meet your goals, and lastly, how to upload creatives. So quite simply, under the campaign section here, you need to navigate to the left-hand side of the dashboard and select the campaign management tab. Now, a few things to note here. We have a filter that allows you to sort or organize the campaigns you're looking at. You can sort these by recent campaigns, pending campaigns, or if you want to get clarity on recent rejected campaigns, you can filter by that as well. But to get started here, you need to click on new campaign. When you click on new campaign, the first section you will see is a page to set up the campaign properties. We will go through each section in detail. The first thing is the name. This will not be published. So name the campaign something that will make it easy for you to recognize later for better housekeeping. The branding text, however, will appear with your ads. So be sure to make it reflect the business name or URL. And lastly, select a marketing objective that most closely aligns with your goals for this campaign. Now we're going to outline your time frame. Here you can choose a start and end date or simply allow the campaign to go live once approved. You can also choose to stop the campaign once the budget is met. Now the default will set your campaign to run 24 seven, but you can also set a custom time window and time zone to run in for better focus on your performance. That is gonna look something like this. Now, once you have the time frame set up, we're going to move right ahead and set up your targeting. First, define your location. It is best practice to target only one country at a time. Once you select the country, you can further target down to the state or region or even zip code level. But the more countries you add, the harder it becomes to manage your bid and budgets. So again, be mindful and only target one country at a time. Next, you want to select the platform you want to target. Again, best practices dictate that you should separate your campaign out by platform as the CPCs and learnings will behave differently on each. So if you're unsure where to start, then maybe begin with one desktop campaign and another smartphone campaign. And tablet, if you are interested in testing it, you can test alongside desktop, but we also recommend to separate that out as well. You can continue targeting by operating system, connection type, and can even add a layer of IAS brand safety tags. Also note that when targeting app downloads, you should only choose the applicable operating system. For example, for app store campaigns, you should only target iOS. Though our recommendation is to leave these unspecified as it can reduce traffic. So only apply these settings if absolutely necessary based on your performance. Audience targeting. Now in the audience section, there will be a couple of options to choose from. Firstly, my audiences. This is where you can find audiences that you created from the pixel and where you can find the customer files you may have uploaded if you need to target, say, an email list. Next, we have the lookalike section. This will contain the similarity based audiences we can create from customer files you upload. Now, keep in mind that this is only available for the US market at this time, but in the future, we will be rolling it out to other markets. Next, we have campaign clickers. This will allow you to target users from a previous campaign that you have been running on our platform. And lastly, marketplace audiences. This is where you can select from our large list of demographic segments pre-packaged for a refined reach. The best practice is to start off with a predictive or run of network campaign, as opposed to just diving into targeting. You can use this campaign to gather learnings and also access the audience insights report in the by audience tab of campaign summary. This data will provide audience segment recommendations and is a great way to discover new audiences you never knew existed.
If you are unsure about which audiences to target, simply leave these all at none. Our algorithm will already work to hone in on your ideal user. And then you can use the data we provide to decide on an audience for a future campaign. When in doubt, leave it out. Now, setting your bidding and budgets. Your bid amount is where you will enter your baseline CPC bid. We recommend letting the smart bid make active adjustments to find the right users, but you can always switch back to fixed bid if absolutely necessary. While the CPA goal isn't required, we highly recommend adding one in so we have a goal to work towards and refine over time. Even if you don't have one yet, which is fairly common for new businesses, come up with something that is a rough estimate of where you want to target. We can always approve upon this and it's a good goal to retain. The spending limit is the total amount that you will spend for the lifetime of this campaign. You can also note that monthly flight is based on calendar months and will attempt to spend the entire budget before the next calendar month. Your daily ad delivery is how we will split up that budget. We recommend to aim for a minimum of $100 per day. Any less and you're risking cutting off important learnings that are going to help you optimize your performance. You can do this by setting a $3,000 spending limit or selecting strict in this section, which will then allow you to add a daily cap. Lastly, we have creative traffic allocation. This refers to how we will optimize for your strongest creatives. When on optimized, we will serve more traffic over time to the better performing ads. Only switch to even if you want a direct A-B test from your own control. Now we'll move on to adding tracking parameters. The final section of your campaign setup allows you to add UTM or other tracking parameters to your campaign. The code entered here will automatically append to all the creatives in your campaign. If you would rather track on a creative level, simply erase the content in this field. We have provided defaults so that you can start to pass useful tabula data into your tracking platform. If you have an impression, viewable impression or click tags, you can also add them here. Simply click on the add tag button and it will give you a field to enter more information. Now, once you have applied the targeting, hit continue at the bottom and you'll be taken to a page to review your targeting. Once you are satisfied, click on submit campaign and you will then be taken to a page where you can upload your creatives. That will look like this. Now here you can add your landing page URL in the space provided at the top of the campaign inventory page. Once you click on add, your creative will appear. You will notice the system will automatically crawl the first headline and image it finds on the site. You can also change these by clicking on the respective fields. Now we have your creative added. Let's go ahead and edit them. Simply click on the title of your creative. You get a yellow box that will enable you to edit the headline. We do recommend keeping the headlines between 30 and 60 characters long any longer and you risk the headline being cut off on various placements. To edit your image, you just need to click on the thumbnail and you will get three options to choose from. The first option is to upload an image file. Next, you can select a web URL to crawl from. Or if you are unsure what images to use or test, we also have access to the Getty Image Library. This is a free resource based on our relationship with Getty Images. So feel free to enter various different keywords, test out some images that might draw the user's attention. There's no harm adding whatever you like, because once again, these are free to use. And that's it. Once you are finished with uploading your creatives, simply click on finish and your campaign will be sent out to our content review team for approval. Please note that the content review process can take between one to three business days. If it takes any longer, you can contact our support team or your dedicated account manager. If you still need any guidance or want to look more closely at how to best set up your campaign for success, 
take a look at our other tutorial videos and be sure to check out our help center at help.tabula.com. Thank you for listening.